And in this video, we're going to take a look at vulnerabilities related to content providers in Android. Content providers allow external applications to send queries to our application in order to find data that is being stored in it. Um, and generally, this data is expected to be data that is accessible either under some form of permission or just generally accessible to everyone. And the idea is that a lot of these are backed by databases. So a lot of the time we can actually get SQL injections through them, which means that we're able to exploit those SQL injections to really do whatever we want to do. So this is a very common type of vulnerability in a lot of applications. So you will commonly find these um, and I'll show you generally the ways that we go around finding and exploiting them. So when we're dealing with this um, in Drozer, we can say run app.provider.findURI. And what this will do is it will find us all of the URIs of the application that we're pen testing um, that are queryable through content providers. So this would be all of those URLs. Now knowing those, we can try querying them ourselves or we can run a special type of scanner that will check for injections that are available inside of them. So that's one way to expose like all of the URIs, but if we want to determine if an injection exists, we would rather use um, this, uh, this query here. So this will check to see if some sort of injection exists in these content providers. And as you can see, we find SQL injections in these content providers, either through the projection or the selection. The projection is like the fields and then the selection is the where clause. So in order to try to exploit these, what we can do is we can do the following. We can say run app.provider.query, and then we're gonna put in the name of the content provider. And then we can specify, for instance, a projection. Now for the projection, I can put in any sort of SQL injection that I want. So for instance, if I wanna see all the tables that exist in this database, I could say star from SQLite underscore master, and I put a comment at the end, the comment will remove the rest of the SQL and then it will just execute my query. You can see when I do this, it exposes to me all of the data that is inside of the, uh, the SQLite database. And you can use this to find out a lot of things. You can find like the versions of um, SQLite. You can also chain it with other exploits to potentially leverage it to get some other permissions on the application. So in general, SQL injections are really bad. We wanna make sure that they aren't in the application. So this is a valid vulnerability to disclose. Now, just to give you some intuition behind why this happens to be the case, if we take a look at our content provider, the main thing that's responsible for this is that um, whenever we do these sorts of queries, they're gonna come through this, uh, this query function. And when we build these, we're using the query builder. Now, the query builder is actually not really a valid way of being able to concatenate fields and projections and such together. So when we do that, it's actually interpreting it as um, SQL code rather than interpreting it as normal like text or input. So in that it will execute our code as if it were SQL code rather than executing it as user input like it should be. So in general, if you can find situations where we're using SQLite query builders in an insecure way, you'll be able to get SQL injections, but a lot of the time they're in content providers. So this demonstrates one way that you could potentially find some good SQL injections. So with this and everything that we've covered so far in the course, you have a lot of tools and techniques to be able to find vulnerabilities in Android related apps. In the next video, I'm gonna discuss a little bit about bug bounties in general, just give you some intuition behind how to determine how severe a vulnerability is, how to score out your vulnerabilities, and really how to write up a good report that's gonna get you a good bounty.